Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golfball here today with another Pokemon TCG online video, and today I have for you guys a Black Hiram EX deck. Yes, I have yet to showcase a Black Hiram EX deck on my channel, and uh, the format's gonna be rotating, and uh, you know it's gonna be XY with the format rotating to XY onward. Black Hiram will no longer be in the standard format, so uh, I gotta showcase him while I still can. And uh, Black Hiram is the 180 HP. Uh, dragon type Pokemon from Plasma Storm. It's got the attack slash the 60. Uh, you know, it's kind of whole hum. You know, first attack. Yeah, you know, I guess it's three colorless. Sure, why not? Uh, Black Bluster though is does 200 damage. You got to discard three energies attached to this Pokemon. So. Uh, in the past, we've seen Black Hiram EX get powered up uh, using Blastoise and Deluge, and we saw that partner up with Keldeo rush in and retreat, and Superior Energy Retrieval getting four energies, plopping right onto Black Hiram, Black Blusted again for 200. And uh, that definitely got really popular, and we did see it, you know, we see a lot of success of it in the competitive play. Uh, but uh, kind of fell away from that, and uh, things like Suicune and Sigilyph was a problem. Uh, things like Pyroar became a problem. So, uh, you know, uh, Black Hiram just didn't see as much play anymore. Uh, but, you know, I thought, hey, it's still a good card and still fun to use. So why not take advantage of Black Hiram EX and see what we can do with this kind of deck? And I opted not to play Black Hiram to team up with Blastoise anymore because, of course, we see that too often. And uh, we've seen it, uh, variations of it too, with Archie's Ace in a Hole with Blastoise. And, of course, we've seen it with Rare Candy Blastoise. Uh, but I decided to go away from that route. Uh, that's actually the preferred route. It's probably, it may even be the better route. I do have a Black Hiram Blastoise deck with Keldeo and, and stuff. But I'm going to opt to do a little bit different here. And uh, why not? Uh, you know, why not? Right? So Black Hiram is going to be the main attacker. We'll have a 2-3-3 line of Mega Manectric EX, the 210 HP Lightning type Pokemon. With Turbo Bolt does have the Mega Evolution rule, but we do have a Mega Manectric Spirit Link, so we won't uh, have to deal with that. It does have Free Retreat. We're weak to Fighting and it does have Lightning. Oh, it does have, uh, my bad, uh, Metal Resistance. And so 3-3 three, three line is pretty heavy. And, uh, you know, we're going to see what we can do with this. We're going to tur Turbo Bolt and uh, power up the um, Black Hiram EX on the bench and see what we can do that way. So uh, we do have Kelzeal still, uh, very reliable. Russian and Retreats could still be an attacker as well. And then we have Suicune here uh, for Safeguard and, you know, it's uh, just really good. But now, one thing we have to consider, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EX. So that means that Turbo Bolts won't work on uh, Suicune, all right? Because it's part of these this uh, EX's effect. So that means Suicune won't be able to get powered up by uh, Turbo Bolt. You know, keep that in mind. And also, the Manectric EX here is the 170 HP Lightning Pokemon. can still be pretty good. Overrun, right, is kind of a weaker version of Hammerhead. But it is a colorless energy. You can hit for 20 and 20. Let's Salt Laser can actually be pretty decent, especially against Lightning Weak Pokemon like uh, Mega Rayquaza EX or uh, Evil Tall EX. With a, uh, if the, we're up against a um, Mega Rayquaza EX, the colorless one that's weak against Lightning types, we can actually hit for the Assault Laser, assuming they have a Spirit Link on there for a complete, uh, for a full knockout, hitting for 120 times two, which is 240. So there's that uh, possibility as well. That's it for the Pokemon. Let's take a look at the item cards and whatnot. We have Acro Bike here, three of these. We got the um, Battle Compressor, two of these, to get the energy in the discard pile. We do have Dowsing Machine instead of Computer Search, but you can swap out Computer Search and Dowsing Machine interchangeably for this kind of deck. We have Professor's Letter, just to get the energies, two of them into our hand from the deck. We have Trainer's Mail, look at the top four cards of our deck, and you can reveal a Trainer card from there and put it into your hand. We have Ultra Ball and four of those, four VS Seekers as well. That's pretty standard. We have the Colrus here, one of these, and we have Lysander, one of these as well. Well, three ends, one Professor Birch, four Junipers, and that's it for the support line. We have three Rough Seas to heal uh, the Caldeo, Suicune, and uh, Manectric EX. This won't heal Black Hiram EX. That's a bit of a bummer, but hey, it's good enough for us. We have the Float Stone here for Caldeo, two of these, Russian and Retreat. And uh, we have Mega Manectric Spirit Link here for the Mega Manectric. Um, only four Lightning Energy, and the rest here are Water Energies. So nine of those, and that's it. Let's go ahead and see this deck in action here on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, and we're going to be playing against DHG Spectrum STRM. It is a... Oh, no, there's lightning. There's a dragon type in there. Psychic, dragon, and colorless. That's going to be... Uh, we've got to be pretty cautious about that. My opponent does end up mulling again. Oh, no. We see a Pokemon Center Lady. We do start off with a Keldeo. And... Hmm. Uh, not good. Uh... In three turns, we can actually go for a secret sword for one for 90 damage. <laughs> so, and actually, yeah, yeah, 90 damage. Uh, that'd be pretty funny. But uh, oh no, it's a Latios Routes. Okay, 
Uh, we have supersonic flight. Uh, my opponent can flip tails and I'll do nothing. We see an acro bike. So kind of wish we had an acro bike right now. That'd be pretty useful for us. But um, going second is not good uh, because, right, uh, let's take a look here. We'll just go with that and end the turn. Oh, turn three, we can go ahead and start putting some pressure on this Latios, but hopefully we can draw into something else by turn three. We drew into another, we drew into a Manectric Spirit Link, uh, but we don't have a Mega Manectric to, to work with here. My opponent opted to play the energy on the uh, Curly over here and doesn't do anything, opts not to really do anything else from that either. I'm just going to play that, end the turn. We could play the Professor's Letter, thin out our deck a little bit, but I'll do that in coming to third, turn three. We see a Gallade over here. We could get hit with a powerful storm. My opponent goes for a Juniper, discards. A, a ton of different things in here. We see a Latios, another one in there, and uh, you see here, this is the Latios. Uh, we got a town map. Looks like my opponent is just playing a Latios stack. Oh, never mind. Here is a Latios EX. Okay, so we could see a retreat. We see this Gallade here getting powered up. Uh, it makes me a little bit concerned. Okay. Uh, even with another energy, we won't be able to knock out this Gallade. My opponent plays the Stadium to remove all resistance, but it doesn't matter. My opponent doesn't play Metal Pokemon anyways. And, uh, alright, so it looks like this is what it's going to have to be. I'm just going to go and uh, thin out the deck a little bit with that. Hopefully we can draw into something else. And uh, this is going to be, uh, Keldeo's basically going to become an attacker right now. We'll go 110, knock out this Latios. This is going to be a two-hit knockout on this Gallade. This Gallade here can still hit us for quite a bit, uh, but it doesn't look like my opponent have any energy, has any energy on the bench. So we should be okay. We see another Ralsa here hit the field, and my opponent is down to one card. We get hit for 40. Uh, we could put a lot more pressure here on my opponent. I do have a Floatstone here. I'm going to go for this. We get a Suicune. I don't want to play an N, actually. Um... Yeah, I think, but I'm going to hang on to the end in case I really need it. And uh, let's just go ahead. We'll go for the Secret Sword. It's going to be a two-hit knockout. Even if I played the energy, I could have played this water energy here. My opponent would have survived with 10 energy anyways. So it wouldn't have been necessary. I'd rather power up this Black Kirim on the bench. We get for another 40. That's okay with me. I'm going to play the Rough Seas now. And uh, ooh, cancel that. And uh, yeah, I forgot to do that last turn. I should have done that in the last turn, but that's okay. Um, let's see here. My opponent concedes the match. Ah, it's... All right, fine. Okay, uh, let's just go ahead and play another match then. All right, and we're going to be playing against Angry Bird Zeo. It is a very dark and colorless deck. My opponent will get to go first. And, oh, wow, we see Togekiss here. Looks like my opponent's going to be teaming that up with maybe, perhaps, uh, Evil Hall EX. Uh, we we'll get to draw another card. Here is a Darkrai. Oh, my goodness, a Darkrai EX from Legendary Treasures. I did not expect to see Darkrai EX. Well, actually, you probably should have because, you know, with the... Uh, the Dark Cloak gives my opponent free retreat, uh, having all those darkness energies. So uh, I'm expecting my opponent to be playing Shaman EX to draw uh, with setup. Uh, so we have a uh, interesting dilemma here. Uh, I could discard this Mega Manectric. I might do that. I definitely will be discarding this um, uh, energy right here. We see an Evil Tall EX. Uh, Alrighty then. Uh, here is uh, ooh, my opponent even plays a Shauna. So what I can do is try to thin out my hand. That's definitely an option. We see a Shadow Circle. doesn't really matter. Uh, well, actually, it does for my opponent. Since my opponent's weak to Lightning, we have Lightning Pokemon. And uh, the Evil Tall EX gets powered up here on the bench. Um, what we can do, this Dowsing Machine, oh, man, now I wish this was actually a computer search at this time. Uh, that way we could have computer searched for something actually more useful. But we do have an end. We will end up giving my opponent some cards, ending my opponent uh, back into six, uh, six card hand. And it uh, looks like my opponent goes for a Dowsing Machine off that Shauna. We see a Dowsing Machine getting rid of Pokemon Fan Club, Wally, and Lysander. It looks like my opponent is going to be going this route. We do see Enhanced Hammer in the discard pile. And, uh, oh, we get a Juniper. All right, so... Uh, this is going to be pretty tricky. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. Let's get this guy out here. And uh, um, I'm going to end up junipering this, actually. Uh, we're going to get the Caldeo and juniper in my hand. That's a little bit tragic. Um, let's see here. We do get a... Uh, let's see here. We got another juniper. I'm going to hang on to that. And uh, okay, so let's go with this right here. And I have two Ultra Balls. I'm just going to hang on to this. You never know what can happen next. Uh, and we'll end the turn. So I can actually Ultra Ball probably for a Suicune if I really need to. Uh, but ideally what I want to do is lie standing out this Evil Tall. If I can counter the Stadium, I want to lie standing out this Evil Tall and hit it right away. Uh, too bad we don't have the Spirit Link. We have one Mega Manectric here in the discard pile. 
Um, and here my opponent goes for another Shauna. We see that Shauna right there. So my opponent was able to get a nice hand size of six anyways. Here is a Togepi. We see it on the Evil Toll. My opponent's down to... And there's a Shaman. Uh, back to six card hand. Oh, man. I don't want to deal with this. Okay, so... Uh, what's going to happen here is, I, I, for sure, I want to discard this energy. That way, we can actually turbo bolt something. Uh, but we really uh, could use um, probably. Okay, so um, let's just go with this right here. Uh, let's go with the Squeakoon. Let's go with that. And I might as well do this right here. Thin out the deck a little bit more. Get another Manectric going here. And uh, we can have one more spot for another Black Curum. And okay, so we got this going right now. Uh, no float stone. Oh, perfect. We got the float stone. All right, so we can put this right here. Let's go ahead and we'll rush in and we will retreat into this. And let's go with that. Let's get another black curum here. We got the juniper as well. Let's go for a turbo bolt hitting for 110. Got two energies right there. Perfect. Everything run is running really smooth right now. Uh, if we can counter the stadium, that would be really good. Uh, but we got to wait and see if we can do that. My opponent has six cards. We have a juniper here. Could go for a Lysander. If we can top deck a stadium, uh, for sure what I want to do is Lysander out the Evil Tall and just knock it out. If we top deck a stadium right here, moment of truth, do we have it? No, we don't. Um, but I can get a Culverus machine, actually, or a Culverus here. Uh, here is the Culverus. Here is some more uh, energies. And uh, that's actually what I want. So let's go with that. And we'll just color us and get a huge hand size here. Hand size of 10 coming right up. And there we go. So um, no more Manectric Spirit Links. So I'll lose my turn if I uh, attempt to do that. And uh, what I'm going to do is probably just power up. Uh, do we have any Lightning Energies in here? We do. Perfect. All right. So we got a Lightning Energy. Uh, I'm just going to power up this one over here. And let's just go ahead and go for that Turbo Bolt. And for 110, knocking out the Dark Rite. And we do have our Black Hurum ready to go here on the bench. My opponent can still hit us with a huge Evil Ball. But if that happens, at some point I should be able to counter the Stadium and then just knock out this Evil Tall with my Mega Manusher. we got to wait and see if my opponent plays the Lysander at all. And nope, never mind. We see a Sycamore. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hits us for 140. Ooh, uh, we should be able to knock him out right away, though. Um, you can see right here, our Black Kingdom has four energies. Uh, we'll just go ahead and, uh, yeah, just, I don't know. We could probably even stick this Suicune out there and let it take a tank for us for a little bit while we Mega Evolve. And here we see my opponent go for uh, the Lysander, so that's okay. Um uh, let's see here. You know, I'm going to go for the Acro Bike. Uh, we do get a VS Seeker. We can discard another uh, energy in there. So let's go ahead. Uh, I really want to get this Colrus right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to power up this guy right there. And let's go for that Colrus. Uh, wait, no, hang on a second. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, I got 11 cards. Yeah, we should be able to do it and uh, still have plenty of cards left over. So uh, here we go. There's that. Let's activate the stadium. Should be able to knock this guy out in one shot. My opponent right now can still knock us out in one shot, but uh, I'll take my chances here. So let's go for the Turbo Bolt and hit for 220. Get this water energy right here. Uh, we can power up this Black Hurum on the bench over there. And uh, we need another Spirit Link. We got the Spirit Link. Uh, we do have a Professor's Letter. We can get another Lightning Energy. We got three Lightning Energy right here. Uh, there's no Lightning Energies in the discard pile, so we have one Lightning Energy in the deck still, or unless it's prize, we play four in total. Um, and uh, we see here the Evil Tall uh, right now. My opponent can still get a uh, Toga Kiss going. And there it is. We could see this Mega Manextra Cure get knocked out. Uh, my opponent needs just two energies. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's actually, it just needs one energy. That's going to be a knockout. We do have the Black Kirin right here ready to go. Uh, my opponent hits us for. Uh, 120, that's a knockout. We have Black Hurum ready to knock this Evil Tall out, and it's going to be GG. And I'm just going to tell my, my opponent right here, GG. And uh, let's go for the Black Ballista, hitting for 200, taking two prizes right there, folks. And we'll just discard that, and look at that. What a victory. A very convincing victory against a Togekiss, Shaman, and Evil Tall deck. We do get... 
a mystery prize. I'm sure you guys are all curious about that. We can see right here, Mega Manectric was definitely the man of this deck, but it was Black Kyurem EX with the Black Ballista, still a very potent attacker and able to uh, just kind of clean everything up and uh, come in again at the end after being powered up with a couple Turbo Bolts. We did have another Black Kyurem EX on the bench ready to go, and uh, in just one more turn, we probably would have been able to power him up. Uh, just simple energy drops here on the Black Kyurem EX, and we would have been able to hit for 200 damage again if my opponent was able to get something like maybe uh i don't know uh, if my opponent didn't play the ace pack that uh, he played earlier if he had something like uh, what is life do we would have hit that evil tall x for only one prize and we had one prize left and he somehow would have been able to knock out our black kirm x somehow and we would have been able to just respond again with another black kirm on the bench and hit for another 200 that would have been awesome uh but of course it didn't happen that way and you know what hey we took the victory and it was a grand victory indeed victorious for black kirm ex and mega metric and hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you guys like to give it a thumbs up and if you uh would like to please share the video share it with your friends and uh, let this video this channel uh get known to your friends and your family and uh you know if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe hit that subscribe button right below this video and if you are a returning subscriber thank Thanks so much again for uh, being a part of this journey, being a part of uh, these countless Pokemon TCG battles and witnessing um, my battles and, and enjoying these battles along with me. And so I really appreciate it. I appreciate what you guys, uh, your support in this channel. And yeah, I hope you guys take care. You guys all have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.